Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and I want to give a shout out to someone, Alana. Alana is an amazing person, we spent two hours on the phone to each other and it was really great getting to actually chat with her. Go check out Alana's channel, subscribe, help her reach her target and if you're new to me, subscribe to me too. Alana's details will be linked up on the iCard and in the description down below. So today I thought we could talk about some of the differences between public hospital and private hospital. I've only been private once. I was in private hospital for a year and I've been in many public hospitals. I'm not saying private's better than public. Public's all we've got really. Unless you want to pay. Public wards aren't that bad. Some are horrific. On the whole, they're out, just an average ward. Private hospital is different. You either have a referral pop through because you don't live in the area, or there's no beds available on the NHS. So let's start with private hospital. I did do a room tour of my private hospital room, which I will link here. Private hospital for me was okay. The staff were okay. What's the difference? What I found is different is in private, you, when you get put on one to one, they actually observe you. They're not distracted. Then on, on public wards, when you're on one to one, they kind of just want it to be over. They don't want to be there, is what I'm saying. Which is. it sucks, but I'm not gonna spit. I'm not gonna say what I don't mean. If they wanted a good review, they should have treated me better. The one thing I will complain about with private hospital is they kept me in there for a year before finding accommodation for me. Now I know finding accommodation takes time, but I personally think when my first section 3 went out I was ready to d be discharged. However, I, I got put on another section 3 and I was kept in even longer. The public wards, they don't, because of the bed crisis, they want you out as soon as possible. Both stays that I had last year, I was there for a month and then I was discharged. Well, four weeks. It's not even a month. Public hospitals are quicker with discharge. Private hospitals, they get paid to have you there. That's my issue with private. They get paid to keep you in. Public and private hospitals have some differences. And that is purely because in private, staff want to be there. But the NHS is not like that. NHS wards are staffed by people who just want the job. They don't really care for the patients. The big difference that I know is between private and public hospitals is public hospitals are there for everyone. Private hospitals have a more restricted way that people are there. They're either paying for it, which is expensive because I've looked at doing it myself. They're there because no, they couldn't go anywhere else. Three, that's where the NHS where you're in different areas of the NHS. Because when I was living in Brighton three years ago, I didn't have a GP in Brighton. My GP was still in, in London. Now, to anyone who doesn't remember me moving to Brighton, that would be because I, never made a I didn't make a video in Brighton. Another example of a difference is in private wards, you get your own double bed. In public, you get a single bed and usually in dorms. That's all I've really got for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Any video requests, please let me know in the comments down below. I will happily make a video on your chosen subject. Thank you for watching. I like I said at the start, don't forget to go check out Alana. She makes amazing videos. And she's Australian, so her accent is amazing. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Because make, you're going to make sure you're subscribed. Peace.